we have these three buildings and we have uh, all these rooms in each of them but they're not numbered correctly as you can see you have some four digit numbers and some random numbers out of this and what we need to do is renumber all of them in, the, in this order and so what I did was draw a spline uh, that touches each room at least once it doesn't have to be just once it could be twice but um, it will renumber all these rooms based on the way the spline runs there are actually apps out there that does renumbering of rooms but for those who don't have those apps this is one way of doing it the first step is to draw a detailed line specifically a spline that goes through all the rooms so now that we have this spline that runs through all the rooms uh, we'll start a dynamo. The first thing we'll need is uh, select model elements. Okay, so we have two of them. We have select model element and select model elements. We'll take both of them. So this is the first one. And then uh, this is uh, the model element by itself. We're going to freeze this for now. Okay. And... Uh, Put this on manual, just in case uh, it automatically runs and uh, freezes your system. So it's best to it's best to do a save before hitting run. That way, if it messes up and you crash, you've got a backup save. Okay, so this is the first thing, model elements. And then the next thing is get categories. Get category. Okay. Let me minimize this. And we'll do a run. Select. And we'll go from left to right. There you go. So you got all these elements. And out of these elements, I just click run by the way. Out of these elements, it gives you a list of all the categories that came up. Okay. So you have the walls, doors, everything that it touched. And what we're interested in here is uh, all the rooms. And as you can see, it says rooms, R O O M S, not room. We have to isolate all the rooms out of this selection. So the next thing we'll do is uh, get a string. We go right, right click, string. And we'll type in rooms exactly the way it's spelled out there. Rooms, there you go. And then um, we'll convert this into string because right now they are categories and it's not going to match with the room string. So we'll convert this to string. Right click again, string from object. So what we're doing here is we're converting all these rooms or all these categories into strings. And if we do a run, it says walls and same thing. If we scroll down to uh, the 400 level, you'll see rooms. Okay. And they, they are now strings. And what we'll do is compare and do an equal. We could do it here or we could do a right click equal and say anything that's a room should be true okay and we will filter that by boolean mask type in boo boo filter by boolean mask okay and we do a mask and so if we do a run it now tells you some of them are true, which is somewhere here in the 400, see, right there. 442 room, so it says, hey, yeah, that's true. Now we get the list, not from here, but from here. Let's do a watch, okay? And then run again.
All you, all you have are the 23 rooms that's in there. Let's get the names of those rooms. We type in room, room name, oh, or number, room number. And let's see if we have the rooms. I just do this just to make sure we have them right. So it starts with 258. So this is the random order of the rooms that it grabbed. Let's go back to this first node. We will now select the spline, the spline right here. Let's unfreeze that. Run. Select. And there we go. See? Right there. What we got is this element, and we need to get that curve. Curve, element, let's do run, and it's a NURBS curve, okay? Now that we have the curve, we will divide it into, say, uh, about 300 segments. So let's uh, do a number. Give it 300. We could also use a number slider here, but uh, for this purpose, we'll just use a, uh, a number node. We'll divide it into equal segments, OK? We'll get points at equal segment we need 300 divisions from this curve let's nudge that let's move this closer now that we have this curve and we have all these points within that curve within this curve we need to find out which point goes in which room number so there is a node for that called um, is inside room so we'll get the room and these are the points and out of that if we run it will give you just one entry here of 23 and only one comes out through. The trick is we need to do a lacing of cross product. So it's going to compare all of them. Okay. So if we do a run now, you'll get a big number, 6,877. And you have three levels now. You'll see some are through right there, and it goes all the way down there. That means there are a lot of points in that room. So out of all these true, we all we need to get is the first one. We'll get the first index of inspect the list. Okay. Remember now, we have three levels, so we'll get the first index right here on level two. So use levels, okay, it automatically goes to two. And the item that we're looking for is true. Right click, true. We'll get the true or false here. We'll click true. Run. you get a list of 23. So these are 23 points that are in the room. Okay. So we need to sort these rooms based on 
the order that they came in. And for that, we'll get the sort by index. Or sort index, I think. Sort index. Whoops. Sort index by value. Okay. So we, we go to that list. And we do a run. We did a sort of that index. Okay. Now that we have those indices in the right order based on this spline, we'll grab those rooms here based on those index. So let's uh, get item at index. Get item, whoops, get, well, let's do it here. Get item at index. Sometimes right click doesn't work too well. So now we've got the room right here on that list. And this is the index. And if we do a run, we get those rooms. And let's get the room numbers again on right click. Room. Number. And there you go. See, now let's inspect this. Let's take a closer look. 1578 is the first room in that order. Is this correct? Yes. And let's check the let's check the last one. 122. Yes. So it is now in the right order. Okay? Now that we have the rooms in the correct order, we will renumber these rooms on a sequence that starts from 100 to 100 22 or we could go with one, 101 to 123 maybe we'll do that so we'll get a numbers node and we'll start with 101 and we'll run this on sequence so type in sequence And we'll go one step at a time. And we'll do it in steps of one. So we'll get a number node, one. Right click, count. get that list. If you do a run, it will tell you there are 23 entries here. So that's the number of times we're going to do the sequence. A run, it starts from 100 to 123. Now this is, I don't know, I think this is not, these are numbers right now and we need to convert that to string. So again, we'll go string from object string from object and now these are strings now the easiest part is set parameter value by name or set parameter by name okay and the value is this and let's freeze this for now do a string. What's the name of the parameter? Is number. The room number. And the elements are these rooms right here. These are the rooms, and we'll feed that into the element set parameter by name. So I think we're ready now. But uh, just to make sure that we're doing it correctly, I'm going to copy the, the room number node here. Control C. Control B, just to make sure that it did it correctly, we'll do this. And now we could unfreeze this. 
zoom out and zoom in on this and as soon as I hit run we'll see the result there you go so now you have 101 102, 103, 104, 105, and it goes all the way to 123. So that's it. After saving the Dynamo file, let's open it again and do the second floor. You'll notice it still remembers the previous selection. So we'll freeze this first. Hit Run. And this will still show you the 610 items from the previous selection. Let's do a change. Go up here and hit run. Now it becomes 31. Let's zoom out. and move to this number starting with 201 and then unfreeze this hit change select that and hit run and there you have it 